What's going on everybody and welcome to the sixth video in the how to make your own supercomputer videos series. In this video what we're going to do now is we want to copy the image off of our master SD card, the one that we've been working on so far for node 1. Uh, we want to copy that to the next SD card. So to do that you're going to obviously need an SD card reader. So take your SD card and put it into your SD card reader device, whatever it happens to be. Mine is my laptop, so that's what I'm using. So I'm going to plug mine in. And to read the actual disk image into like one image, what we're going to want is Win32 Disk Imager. So go to Google and you can type in Win32 Disk Imager. And we're just going to use a source forge here. Click on that and then you can download it here. I've already downloaded mine, so I'm going to go ahead and open mine up, but go ahead and click download, and whenever your download is uh, done, continue with the video. So when you're done and you bring up the program, this is what it looks like. Here's your device here, and this is the image file. So what we want to do is we want to take this, uh, we want to use the read option eventually and, and read from the device to the image file. So what we want to do is we want to put this image file somewhere. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I've made a file on my desktop um, called Supercomputer Tutorial. So I'm going to open that up. So this is where I want it to go. And here you can put the file name that you actually want it to be. So for now, I'm just going to call this um, here master node. And then I'll just put the date. For me, it's 2.18. 2014 and uh, so that's the date February 18th 2014 master node open so that's where we want the image file to go now again you want to use the read option so read data from device if you hover it says from device to image file so just don't get those two confused because you don't want to write because this will write from the image file to your device basically so hit read because that's what you want and now it's going to go through the process of reading this, you know, your SD card basically to this file. Now, I recognize I said there wouldn't be much more waiting, um, but I did tell you guys that we had to do this. So, so we are going to do this, and once you do this, you're going to insert your next card and, and write to it. Uh, but we will cover that. So for now, I'm going to pause this while uh, this goes on um, and resume whenever it's done. So you feel free to pause the video and resume it whenever yours is complete. So when it's all done, just hit OK, and now let's go ahead and make sure that it is indeed there. So I'm going to open up this file, and sure enough, there it is for us. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is move this file to your, your next SD card. So go ahead and eject your other SD card, or your first SD card, so SD card number one. Take that out, you're all done with that now, and take SD card number two and plug that into your SD card reader. And now what we want to do is uh, we have this file here already, so that's the file name. Device is still the same. It's in G. You can check to make sure. Just I would check to make sure that that is indeed the SD card. Uh, that should be it. So again, this is from the device to the image file. So we this time we want to write data in the image file to the device. So uh, this time hit write. Writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Target device, got it, chickity check, yes. And now what it's going to go ahead and do is write this file to this device. Uh, just as a side note, I think, I can't remember, I think this one is actually 16 gigabytes. I can't remember what the size of this one is. The first one was like a micro SD card for 8 gigabytes, and I'm pretty sure uh, this current device is 16. So if you recall that, you know, the operating system already expands to your device. Just as a side note, this is still going to be, I believe, 8 gigabytes, not uh, 16. So you would kind of, like, if you if you had a 16 gigabyte one and you expanded that, you wouldn't be able to fit the image size to your 8 gigabyte or your 2 gigabyte, for example. So just kind of uh, pay attention to that. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pause this while this is transferring over. Uh, I suggest you do the same. All right, so once that's done, right, successful, hit OK. Now you've got a copy. So what we want to do now is actually uh, eject this, and we're going to want to put it into our Raspberry Pi now. And actually, you're going to put both your SD cards into your Raspberry Pis, 
and then boot them up. And to access each one, um, I'm just going to use SSH. And again, if um, your second Pi is most likely going to have the same IP address as your first, plus one. So mine was 192.168.0.20. My second Pi is most likely 192.168.0.21. Uh, again, if you're not positive, you can plug in uh, your monitor again, plug in your USB cord, put in the SD card, turn that baby on, log in, and do IF config, get the INET address. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is plug the SD cards into both of my Pis and uh, boot them up. So I suggest you do the same. Alright, so just again as a side note, uh, take care to look at your boot lights. Uh, the first one really ought to boot up for sure, your master node, though your second Pi is the one that may or may not work correctly. Uh, if this read-write process went well, uh, it should work and all the lights should beam up uh, pretty much by now if you had plugged it in before I started yip yapping. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually log into both of my Pis, um, but you really just need to use um, SSH to log into the master Pi, uh, but I'm going to log into both and, and you can log into both as well, So, because we're going to be doing some edits and stuff and we'll end up actually um, confirming some stuff by logging into the other Pi. So that's what we're going to be covering in the next video. So hopefully everyone is all set to this position. If your second Pi is not turning on, uh, I suggest trying to rewrite onto that file or your SD card again uh, from the image file. Try to redo that. And if that fails again, I would reformat it um, and maybe even take another copy of the first one um, and try that again. Anyway, if you have any co questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions, and until the next video.